Okay, I'm here with all of you. Good morning, everyone. It's nice to see you once again in our HR monthly series. So today we're going to talk about toxic employees. Now, this is a very strong word, but that's the reality. In every organization, you will have such employees. You can't escape. So what do you do? Do you just ignore them? Is it the best thing to do? Do you think so? Or do you confront them? Well, what I would say is, just like any other problem, if you do not tackle it, it just will not go away by itself. So you need to address the issue on hand. You can't just leave it unattended. Now, we will look at each individual one and you start thinking, do you have such people in your company? The slacker. This sort of person just will find ways not to work. Just find ways. These people do not like to work on a nine to five on a job. They drain everybody else's time. Everybody's, they can't be bothered. They just can't be bothered about what's going on. They're not team players. If you have such people in your organization who are with you, I would say good luck <laughs> in handling them. It is a challenge to handle such people. Nobody wants to be with this person. Very, very unreliable. Everything he does or she does is just totally un productive and the whole team can be literally de-energized because they don't see anything forthcoming from this person they don't know what to do with this particular employee and then he's very erratic very moody a lot of frustration and continuously make a lot of mistakes and when that happens somebody else has to clean up the mess always always asking everyone for help please help me to do this please help me to do that they never want to take any initiative to learn most of these people when they get when they start getting into the toxic behavior they just they just don't know what to do they're actually very lost they do not know what to do they're very lost they do not know up to which point i can behave in this manner that's when they get out of control they just like are like uh, loose bullets, and they can uh, and they can just just fire anytime. To so watch them, and when you see this kind of behavior, just keep note of it, so that you know what is going on. Mm -hmm. Somebody was asking, "What if the person is the HR head?" Interesting question, Julie. <laughs> well, firstly. When did he or she become like that? Was it from day one? If it is from day one, you've hired the wrong person. If your HR head is like that, then if, and if he or she doesn't want to change, you please do something about it. Address the issue seriously. Because at that level, if you're a head, of HR and you are the one who are supposed to actually manage the people, how can you yourself be like that? Is he demotivated by something? Please investigate. As I said, every individual gets into the situation because something has taken place. Something has happened. Dig into it, sit down, have a chat, have some coffee, tea, you know, I wonder what kind of relationship you have with this person. I hope it's a good working relationship where the person is able to open up. Maybe not to you, maybe to someone else, senior. So see what can what can be done and what can be found out from this person. That's all from us today. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Sashni. Thank you. Okay, thank you, everyone, too. Okay, have a nice and day. And see you guys once again. Yeah. Okay, bye, bye, everyone. Bye-bye.